Also, since I've got energy shields coming out the wazoo, holy shit, I've got 11 energy shields, people. I might as well use some charges. Also got quite a few med packs, which is nice because I'm using them. And it's very nice to have them when you need to use them. God, 11 energy shields in reserve. That's 55 energy shield charges. Really need to just keep them up indefinitely. What have we got here? We've got the administration officer, and he's got a hollow log. Fortunately, we've got a log terminal, so we'll be able to... There's no logged hollow display things, thank God. Let's see what the mine administrator had to say for himself. This may be the beginning of a long record. Oh, God. About an hour after the facility suffered the explosion that triggered the emergency lockdown. Just finished helping the dock officer set up the transmission relay. Not much signal strength, but it's better than nothing. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13, then the next two numbers are... Sir, couldn't we contact the med bay? Maybe the Jedi's awake. If so, she could help us. No good. The link to the medical computer was severed from the hub, just like the administration console. Even if the Jedi wakes up, how would we get the dormitory turbo lift code to her? Without it, the turbo lift to the administration level is locked down. Alright, so that's ridiculously important, and if you don't watch that, you won't be able to... Actually, I guess you can still crack the puzzle if you're clever. But, um, anyway, let's see what else. The inventory and supplies entry. That, that, that doesn't sound quite useful, but I'm, I'm in a listening mood. Let's go! We just took an inventory of our supplies. We've got enough emergency rations in the dormitories to last almost a month. With all the problems in the facility, I don't know how long we'll last. I wish we could contact the Jedi. Maybe she could... No. She's still floating in that damn tank. Someone's played us for fools. tra la 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 here with us is pretty clear who it was. If I ever catch up with that Mandalorian loving son of a... At least the air scrubbers are still working, even though they're tied into the... Hey. What's happening to the ventilation system? It's... Owned, bitches. Owned like the shit. I actually find that kind of eerie. You've got, you can already see the corpses there, and then you've got these holographic images falling down dead right where they are. Like that, it's actually playing out like it recorded the whole room. I don't know, it's kind of unsettling seeing these uh, holographic images of alive people. And I can't blow that open with a mine because I don't have any demolition skills. Too bad. But yeah. It's just kind of... I, I don't know. That, that's... It's eerie. There's, there's no, nothing else to say there. I really feel like I should get force speed. That would make this go a lot faster. I might get that next time. Oh, I don't have my... Uh, my plasma torch equipped. Even when you have two Id two weapon slots, you still sometimes don't have enough. Sistec Aural Blaster, what the hell is that? Holy shit! Look at that. Four to seven plus seven? Hey, that's not bad. I think I'm I think I'm gonna use that. Got more two hit and I generally when I look at damage. I like to um, add together like the bottom and top numbers to get the overall effectiveness of what the weapon's going to actually do. So this has an effectiveness of 11 for me, and this also has an effectiveness of 11 because like you have to you have to factor in both the minimum damage and the maximum damage when you're looking at things like that. I feel like so I'm going to use this blaster for a while. It's a I guess it's a safer weapon because it has a better two hit and it has a better minimum damage dealt, so there you have it. Alright, not much else here other than administ that administration log, but that's pretty important. You've got the first three numbers of a five number sequence. I wonder how we'll get the final two numbers. Ooh, that's kind of a cool looking uh, blaster shot right there. I like that. That's cool. I'm also missing like crazy. 
I'm supposed to have a higher to hit with this thing, game. Game? Come on, game! Get with the program, game! Jeez. God. Never mind about that. I feel like this vibro cutter is still doing better for me. Actually, did I get a vibro blade? I think that's better. Yes, it is. If only because it's fully upgradable. Yeah. I've changed my mind. I'm gonna equip this, and as soon as I get to a, uh... There's a broken log terminal. That's not gonna do me much good. As soon as I get to a, um... A thingy. A workbench. I'm gonna upgrade it. Um... People have been telling me to get the weapon finesse that, um, applies my dexterity number, which is much higher than my strength number, to my strength rolls since I'm using melee weapons. But I'm actually holding out on that for a reason. I know about that. Hey, mind forming log. I know about that functionality, and it's nice, but I'm not, I'm simply not going to be using melee weapons in the future, and I want to think more forward. Like, I want to put a nice amount of thought into forward progression. And, um, what does this do? Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Wisdom plus one, that's not bad. But I feel like I need more awareness right now. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna save that. I'm not gonna waste a skill thing on that because I don't have much... I don't have an overmuch amount of feats that I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna save that for when I start using lightsabers and just get the lightsaber finesse, if that makes any sense. So, I mean, I know that's there, people, but yeah, that's a better save, I'm gonna use that. But I simply don't feel like it's necessary for me to go that route when I'm going to forego that. Forego the melee weapons after a little bit. So there's, that's my explanation on that point. And let's listen to some more logs, because we can. The, uh, mine foreman. Hopefully you can read this. I've been told you actually can. I love the way he says things. Korta got all angry in human face. Basically, if you can't read this, he's talking about how Korta and his friends are wanting to uh, do the thing. With the thing. We, we've already covered this, but this is much trouble. Your ears always were too big, CN. Come on, if the maintenance officer comes through on the explosions, these dorms are going to be filling up soon. And shut that damn data pad off and throw it down the refresher. Whoops. And let's see what the dock officer had to say. We managed to get to the dormitories. We should be safe here. Lol. We've been trying to use the holo transmitter to beam a transmission to the administration level to end the lockdown. But the administration console's been severed from the main hub. Everyone thinks we should try to evacuate on our own as soon as possible. There's no way to break the dormitory seals from the inside. I'm going to keep sending distress calls in the meantime. We've been trying to find a way to circumvent the lockdown and get to our hangar bay, but so far, no luck. The situation's worse than we thought. Even if we get out of here, we can't shut down the fuel depot force fields if a fuel leak was detected. If so, the only way off this asteroid is if a ship docks with us. But the only connection to the docking platform is on the administration level, and we can't get up to the docking bay while we're trapped here. I only hope someone survived the explosion in the mining tunnels. If not, then we're stranded here. Unless our transmission reaches a passing ship, or a Telos freighter. And one more entry in this one. Managed to use the holo transmitter here as a crude relay to beam short burst transmissions outside the Paragas facility. 
with any luck, the transmission will carry beyond the asteroid field. We've set the emergency transmission on automatic playback. We're using a simple military flash code to transmit the code to the turbo lifts, so maybe our rescuers can get down to the dormitory when they reach the station. Without those turbo lift codes, our rescuers wouldn't be able to get here from the administration level. And without those codes, we wouldn't be able to get to the administration level if we found a way out on our own. <sighs> the messages are short distress calls only, since we can't get much signal strength. It's pretty weak, so unless a ship is actively searching the area, it might be a long time before a ship picks up the message. After all, who would be scouring frequencies way out here looking for trouble? Maybe that guy kneeling in the midst of all the dead bodies. I don't know, just a thought. Anyway, it sounds like y'all got pretty thoroughly pwned. Case in point. Alright. So let's continue onward. Forward march onward. Ho! Oh, Lay's potato chips and all that good stuff. I'm gonna save again because I don't want to have to listen to all that crap again. Even though I really wouldn't have to. Let's put that put an energy shield back up because we've had up we have upward of 55 charges. And actually. Yeah, god, we have 12 energy shields now. Jeez. Where am I getting all these things? Oh, come on. Why aren't you fighting? Do I have to play all by myself again? Uh, why aren't you queuing up the fight? It's very odd behavior, Miss, uh, Miss Hestia. And here we have another situation in which a blaster will actually come in handy. So let's do that. Let's get on that. Oh my god, one of you. I hate you with a fiery burning passion of hell. That is how much I hate you. I, I am very happy that you just exploded. Even if you were a sentient being, I would be incredibly happy. I would be happy-fied. So many goddamn droids. I can't even use the Theoden line, so much death. So much death! Because there's no death going on, just so much mechanical dismantle. Ying. Yes. Pretty repetitive gameplay here. I can I can actually see why people wouldn't like this as much. I just think the slow build is cool, like I've said. And let's stay outside the room because these um these little creatures are pretty nasty. And, you know, what the fuck, I'm getting burst to speed. I need it. I, I go crazy without it. Just a little. Just a little crazy. Throw up, throw up another energy shield, because that way they can't hurt me. At least this one can't. I don't know about the uh, fire extinguisher. Yeah, I think it does cold damage, so it would be able to hurt me, which is why I'm outside of the room. That's the whole point. I'm a master strategist. Hey, it can hit me from here. That's not good. Let's back up a little. I know I have a bigger range than it has. Like, I'm positive of that. As you can see. There we go. Woot, woot, woot. Oh, God. <laughs> More fighting. Won't be able to do anything about that because I don't have any demolition skills. And... Where does this go? This is a self-contained room. I might as well, uh... Oh, wait. No, it's this. It's this slot that I want to put the plasma torch in. Because I think I'm done forcing myself into ranged combat for now. Oh, no, no. Get the Viber Blade out. This is... Insanely repetitive, I apologize. There's only so much I can say. You know? This is an excavator droid. It excavates. Right now it's trying to ex excavate me. And I'm 
chipping away at its health in an alarmingly small degree. There we go. That's much better. I just need to stun it beforehand, I guess. I mean, I've got plenty of force power to go around. I am, after all, a consular with 17 wisdom. That's no slim pickings. Even though I don't have too much force power yet. Excuse me. Huh. <sighs> Actually, do I have the vibro? Okay. For a second there, I thought I had re-equipped the vibro cutter instead of the, vi the actual vibro blade. Throw up another energy shield, because I can. Oh, come on, would you just die already? Jeez! This shouldn't be so hard. God, Kelly, your aim sucks. Got another lecture about contraband today. Security hasn't started doing spot checks of recorders yet, so my cash in the lower bunk in my room in the Eastern Dormitory should be safe. You won't even know to look. It's there unless you know to look for it. Blah, 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 blah. It's probably something I already got. And we've got some scattered survival kits around. They just have chemicals in them. How chemicals are part of a survivor kit... I don't know. I don't know what relevance to survival chemicals have. If I'm if I'm stranded out in the wilderness and I want to survive, I'm looking for, you know, food and and water and stuff like that. Not I'm not thinking, oh my, I wish I had chemicals with me. Just yeah, there we are again. Just random chemicals. I wish I had random chemicals with me. And yes, I know you can use them at a lab station to make med kits, but that's not the first thing I'm thinking about. I'm not thinking, ooh, I wish I had a first aid kit. I'm thinking, I wish I had some food. I wish I had something to drink. I'm going to die. My arm is pinned behind a boulder, and I'm James Franco. Thank you for viewing. Come again! <laughs> well, well, there's the lab station. That at least explains it somewhat. Some what? Some what? See if I can make a couple med packs. Actually, that's all chemicals are good for. Oh no, I don't want to learn about creating items. I want to create items. Oh, I can make three. No real reason to do anything else, really. No reason not to. What else am I going to use those chemicals for? Da da da. Lol. LOL, just lol. If you read that, you'll know why I'm lolling. You can read it, come on. If you really if you really didn't have time to read that in that time, go learn some reading comprehension skills. God. I'm feeling mean spirited today. I apologize. I feel terrible. Oh! And there's Corta. I guess he's not behind shit after all, because shit's still happening. And there's a hollow log he's got on his body that's actually majorly important, so let's take a look-see. Oh. God. It's way the fuck. It is way the fuck. I will meet you when I have achieved my goal of ending up being way the fuck. <laughs>